This video is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Real quick, if you want to pick up this super slick limited edition Ghost of Late Night Television shirt or any of these other worthy contenders, head on over to represent.com slash JonTron before it's too late. Links in the description. Ow! Heat was hot! So let me know when you're right. Ow, fucking hell. I actually burned myself for real. All right. Ow. Oh, you shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Okay, ready? Today we're going to be watching some work safety videos. I love these. You know the ones that uh, employers show their staff that say things that a five-year-old should know by age four? Yeah, those. <laughs> these are the best. All right, let's enjoy some of the best work safety videos the internet has to offer. All right, number one, think about this. I'll try. I think. I mean, actually, had you been there, you might have disagreed. Oh my god. He's woven straight into that Persian rug forever now. Yes, okay. He had a bit of an accident, but it's one of a kind. I give you good price. Don't think it! about this. I mean, while you're thinking about it, he's sparking. There's flames shooting out of his eye sockets. Help him! You're gonna burn up in that hot suit today. Boy, I hate that darn thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear that hot suit. I'm not gonna wear that. Go in the radioactive chamber? Hate that radioactive suit. It's boring. Psh, out of fashion. Warm. Psh, don't like it. Oh! My skin's melting! What the fuck do you think's gonna happen? That was just that guy's fault. That's not work safety. That's work dum dum. If you have a wrench directly embedded into your brain, do you even have time to go, ah? Is it, more, is it not more just like? Don't die, don't die. Please don't die. You were alive before you died. Don't die. That Now this gets straight to the point, gets to the meat of it. When you're on the job, don't die. That's gonna really affect my bottom line. What do I pay you for? What do I pay you for? You're literally less than useless. My paraplegic grandma could do more than you, god damn it! All right, number two, coughs and sneezes, 1945. You may have met a few people who like doing this sort of thing. <laughs> oh. He might be me. They're a nuisance, I agree, but pretty harmless. You have certainly seen thousands like this. They're not a nuisance. They're Whoa. a real danger. This guy's just a dickhead is what he is. Everyone's like, what the f come on, man, Jesus. Hi, stop it, you. Stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop. Stop it. That's what you say the first time you see someone do that. There's no video necessary for this. Someone goes, hey, what's going on? Ooh, in a big crowd, stop it, stop. What the fuck? Come here, what do you think you're up to? You've probably infected thousands of people already. What do you think this is for? I'm going to jam it right up your ass for being such a stupid, inconsiderate piece of shit. Close your eyes. I mean, at least be a little more delicate with it. I've always wanted to know, does Pepper make you sneeze? They're always in the old cartoon, Ch -ch -ch Pepper, achoo, says Seba Sebastian the cat. Fuck, that wasn't his name. What was Sylvester. the cat? Sylvester the cat. Sebastian was a crab. This is not safe. <coughs> all my, all my passages are burning up. It's a never-ending feeling of my inner world on fire. This was dumb. Sneeze, handkerchief. <coughs> See what I mean? <coughs> Understand? Handkerchief, sneeze. Got it? 
Okay, I, fuck, I, I see. Okay, I just sneezed once, dude. I was on the phone. I sneezed. Hey, can I just go? Now you can carry on. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be able to, dude. You can't just break a man like that and then and then tell him to just carry on. I wonder where he is today. Hello, I'm Inspector Roy, here to do your regular city health inspection. Uh, just do your regular city health inspection, not here in uh, Inspector Garb and uh, a secret serial killer at all. Just Inspector Roy. Very good spaghetti. Oh, Harry, that's a major violation. You can't eat and drink in the kitchen. Oh, Harry, not only is that a major violation of health, that's a violation of human decency. Well, Harry, you just keep messing up here. You've got on dirty clothes. You just wiped your hand with your gloves. You need an apron on and you've got a He looks seriously your... like he's mad dogging Inspector Roy right now. All right, I ain't eating in the sink, but you'll be eating through a tube for the rest of your life. Harry, what are you doing in there without the light on? You can't be washing dishes without the light on. Now, what are you doing back there? You better not be doing anything illegal under cover of darkness. Let's see, this is your chemical storage closet, but you have food in here stored with chemicals. Now that's a, a violation, and that's a repeat from your last inspection. This place is like a serious hazard. I feel like we're I feel like we're slowly uncovering a crime scene here. Now, why would you need three barrels of hydrochloric acid? Here, this is a Wendy's. Harry, that's not a hand sink. That's a prep sink. You just washed your hands on top of your defrosting chicken and contaminated it. And this chicken here, it's a 64 degrees. It's in the danger zone. That should have been stored. I don't think I've ever heard anyone refer to a raw chicken as in the danger zone. Danger zone. <laughs> Harry, there's blood all over this lettuce. You cross-contaminated. No! I mean, it, I've already made the joke and now it's serious. <laughs> it really is turning to a murder scene. Now, Harry, what is going on here? You got fingers in the spinach, a foot in the arugula, and that's just bringing a whole new meaning to a head of lettuce. Harry, I heard that toilet flush, but I didn't hear the hand sink. Did you wash your hands? Gotta wash your hands before you return. Nah, no, I didn't. What's going on? John called me and said the health inspector was here. Yeah, we failed pretty bad, thanks to Harry. Harry? Who's Harry? Harry got away with the watermelon scot free! You gotta be fucking kidding me! He got away with this whole time, you bastards! You've been hoodwinked! Okay, this one's called Shoe Store Head Trauma. Bloody Lucky. Hello? have to go. I mean, she's just like shopping at your store. Is, it, is there an issue? Can I help you? Do you have this in a size eight, please? Let me check the back. Yeah, you check the back. See if I care. You guys are getting a little nervous. I'm getting a little uneasy. I hope she like falls through the wall onto the other lady and they both die because really they both seem kind of unpleasant. And I don't like them. Everything okay? Oh, what a surprise. Are you dying back there? They've been feuding for 17 years and this is it. This is, this is, this is their final revenge. Oh wow, it almost sounds like someone took one of the screws out of the ladder back there. <laughs> Whoops. Game over. Well, yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't fall on the fluorescent glass, smash, die, and die. I agree. Now we got heat stress safety training video. As spring evolves into summer, the potential for heat-related illness also rises. Jesus Christ, I'm not joking. Like, this video is actually making me uncomfortable because I, I hate the heat. Collectively known as heat stress. Holy crap, that's a hot man! Get this man a friggin' Dasani! These illnesses include heat cramps, oh. heat rash, heat syncope. I don't feel so good. What the fuck is heat syncope? Heat cramps, cramps. sky cramping. Okay, got it. Heat rash, beautiful visual. Heat syncope. I don't feel so good. Oh, I wish I wasn't suffering from this heat syncope. You guys didn't know what it was either. That's what it is, isn't it? 
In this program, we'll learn how to respond to victims of specific heat-related problems, and most importantly, the heat death of the universe, heat stress. When exposed to hot conditions, excess body heat is expelled when the amount of blood circulating to the skin is increased. Yeah, I know how being hot works. Is this, you can't seriously be telling me they're making a video about this. I mean, I don't know if this video kind of like explained things properly. I feel like I gotta go follow up on the website here. ATR-Inc.com, let's see what they got for us. Here it is, understanding and preventing heat related illnesses. $495? What the hell? They're, trying, they're selling this 16 minute video about sweating for $500? Do you want to know what's even scarier than that? That is apparently the best seller. Above stormwater pollution prevention plan. One of them is stand in the shade, drink a cold iced water. The other is uh, there's pollutants in the water. It's going directly into 5,000 families' houses. 16 newborns are affected. Stand in the shade. Get a little, hold one of the little fan, one of those little fans, hold it on your face when it gets a little hot. Air New Zealand safety. Oh my God, is this what plays on the plane? Nothing can ever match the version America one with Todrick Hall. Nothing will ever beat that one in my eyes. Hey! God, that's a sweet hat. <laughs> I bet this is just Elijah Wood's actual normal day, poor bastard. He goes out to get a sandwich and some fat sweaty nerd comes up and goes. <laughs> I'm here to guide you on your journey. So cease your rebel rousing and listen very carefully. Oxygen is precious to you beyond measure. Pull down on the mask, place over your nose and mouth. Just use a spell. It's just weird seeing like Lord of the Rings fantasy characters putting on a freaking oxygen mask. I've seen an elf woman make a wall of horse water destroy a bunch of ring rakes, and I'm supposed to believe she needs a gas mask? She's immortal, goddammit! Unless she gets stabbed, I think. I think elves are immortal unless they get stabbed. <laughs> if there's a mishap during takeoff or landing. That's not Gandalf. That's not Gandalf. That's not Gandalf. I've seen Gandalf. It's not him. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Put your hands on your head and your feet flat on the floor. I didn't need to see Gandalf brace for impact, okay? That man fell down with a Balrog for like a hundred eons in his brain, at least. It was in the movie, it was like five days, but he's not gonna die if he crashes in a plane. Maybe he will. Elves will. <laughs> Life jackets are easily put on while seated. If you're seated in a sky couch, it's in your leg rest. And if you're seated in business premiere, it's located here beside you. And if you're a peasant in economy class, your life jacket's up in Isengard. Ha <laughs> just kidding, you don't have one. This man should be seated far away from the emergency exit aisle because I don't, I don't trust his slippery buttery fingers. Inflate your life jacket by pulling on the red tail. If you need to inflate the life jacket a bit more. The Hobbit's the only thing about New Zealand. Have you seen Lord of the Rings? This is me in New Zealand. Crew will provide cute little life jackets for our littlest people. Why is he so small? Is it because he's is a hobbit in the movie? But he's just Elijah Wood here. It just looks like a very small man. How much pussy you think Elijah Wood gets when he's a little dude on the screen? Hey babe, I'm at the bar. You know who I am? You ever been to New Zealand Airways? I'm the little guy on the screen. I'm a little baby, baby in New Zealand Airways, Dad. <laughs> Why is he so small? It's really bothering me. Your crew are now pointing out your exits. Your nearest exit could be behind Ugh, you. It's just not right. That's not Gimli. It doesn't look like Gimli. It's gross. I mean, Gimli's gross, but that's grosser. I don't fucking know. Turn this shit off. Get the plane off the ground. Get me back to fucking California. So tonight, get ready to fly. Introduction to basic health and safety. Nice and simple. I like that. Let's see. In this film, we will outline the areas you need to think of and show you that health and safety need not be confusing. I wasn't really confused. An introduction to health and safety. Now you've confused me almost immediately and you promised me you weren't going to do that. Be familiar with your workplace. You should be familiar with your workplace and the task- He looks a bit too familiar. He looks like he could use a getaway. 
lifting. <laughs> this man looks like he's about to commit a crime. He's casing the place, for God's sake. Bend the knees and keep your back straight. Take a grip on the load and start to lift in a smooth upward movement. That is the strangest way I've ever seen anyone lift anything in my life. This is how you lift a box. Slips and trips are often seen as a joke. However, in reality, nothing could be further from the truth. Although, accompanied with cartoon sounds, one could easily make the mistake of giving a good chuckle. Because something as small as a pen can cause serious damage when slipped on. Oh no, they're not going to actually show that on television, are they? Oh, the humanity! Slips, trips, and falls. The fatal half inch. The fatal half inch. What does that mean? Ah, of course, it, the fatal half inch, or uh, how using your eyes can save your life. You know, the correlation is quite simple. In this short video, we will show you something most people don't realize about what causes us to trip and fall and how to avoid this dangerous hazard. How many fucking people are tripping and need a video about it? Because apparently it's a lot. For God's sakes, people are paying $500 to learn how to stay in the shade. Can you spot the trip hazards in this photo? I gotta tell you, I really, I really can't. Is it the, the red bottle cap? A little piece of tape? Okay, tell me, where, where is it? Where is it? Here's one, where the surface changes elevation. No, it's not. No, it's now. I'm just gonna call bullshit on you. Here's, no, here, here is not one. Would you see this one? And two more changes in elevation, more than half an inch. All right, this is turned into a straight up actual conspiracy video. This is what a conspiracy theory YouTube video looks like. People tend to trip over things that we see all the time, but don't normally notice. If you look at this man tripping, it looks normal. Until you zoom in and you see the reptoid pop out at the last minute, causing the man's knee to buckle and for his body to fall forward in a rolling motion. Most people don't see that reptoid bump come up on the first viewing, and that's exactly what they want. Anywhere you see a crack in a walking surface lurks a potential trip hazard. Jesus Christ! This is a new one. I've never heard of a minor elevation paranoia. I want to know, when, he, when, when he's scanning an area, th what is he seeing? Holy crap, would you get a look at that? What do you think they're trying to hide from us? That's at least a good one, two millimeters there. <gasps> Stop! Stay where you are! You could have tripped right over that, man! That's at least a good six millimeters deep! You stay safe, Jake, all right? I'll see you back at the office. But can you see the other hazard? Sharp, unexpected changes in elevation are particularly dangerous. Uh, y yes, okay, that's a bit more of a tripping hazard, I agree, if you're a bumbling moron. We can get so used to hazards, we forget they're there. Hazards hide in plain sight. I'm just gonna put this out there. I don't think that's plain sight. I think that's a sewer or catacomb, and those are usually put pretty much out of plain sight. Maybe the farthest from plain sight that anything in a society is. Keep in mind that it's the little things we don't normally look for that can- Reptoid hurt. one, reptoid two, can't fool me, okay? I'm woke to this. Reptoid three. Remember, it only takes half an inch to change your day for the worse. Use your eyes and be aware of those little trip hazards as you walk. Be paranoid. Be absolutely everywhere you go, hypervigilance is the key. Always be on the lookout for minor dangers, no matter how unlikely. Namaste. You know, I gotta say, I learned more than I thought I would from these. I think it's about time I applied a bit of this to my own life. Hi there. Here at JonTron Incorporated, we've taken a hard look at our workplace safety procedures and have decided to revise them to keep our workers safe. But most importantly, to keep them alive. Because if your heart ain't beaten, I ain't eating. Look at these elevations hiding in plain sight. This place is a death trap. All right, come on, people. Keep hugging that floor. Wouldn't want anyone to trip and fall on a dangerous piece of grout. The editing bay, a seemingly innocuous place. What could go wrong here? The answer may shock you. Hey there, Andrew, what are you working on today? I'm just downloading an MP3 of Baby one more time on File Sparrow. Andrew, you fool. 
I told you to use a proxy if you were gonna do this. They're gonna be here any minute. Go, 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 go! Get down on the ground. Hands in the air. Get down on the ground. Stay down. Get down. Don't you move. You're done, punk. As you can see, danger is never more than a few clicks away. And that's why at John Tron Incorporated, our motto's always been, we can't afford another lawsuit. I'd just like to take a second to say that none of this would have been possible without Dollar Shave Club. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and helping us bring more of this content into the world that we love to make for you. No matter your routine, Dollar Shave Club has everything you need to help you look, feel, and smell your best. Shower products, oral care products, hair products, skin products, butt wipe products. Seriously? They have that? and obviously shaving products. They automatically keep you stocked up so you don't run out, and you can choose your delivery frequency so you get what you need however often you need it. Fun fact, I actually use their razor every day for real, and it's quite a good product. You just pop it on when you're ready and pop it off when you're done. Pop it on when you're ready. You can keep doing this all fucking day. Also, here's a picture of the real one I use. Gross, but proof. Go to my exclusive link, dollarshaveclub.com slash jontron, and receive a starter pack for just $5. And take the first step towards changing your life forever. Or at least your shaving and butt wiping.